Good. Need something? You're awake. I was running out of knives to sharpen while I wait. Our next step is to go talk to Burko. Kodos. His ship is landed, I guess. Landing site is clear. Let's head down. us just to walk into a space like this is very, very confident. Or, I suppose, very insecure. I think I need to loot this place. This music is gonna put me to sleep. Here to join the first? There is. Are we impressed? Clearly that is the goal. I think... Never mind, I am not impressed. You know, none of this stuff is marked as stolen. I could run through here and just take all of it. And they wouldn't mind. Shall we talk to the nice man? Um, picked up some more Hippolyta. I'm wearing the good suit. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, <clears throat> I confess. I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged ranger. <laughs> Tread carefully, Marco. You underestimate the deputy at your peril. And who might you be? Call me Andreja. Welcome to my home, Andreja. If I may be so bold, you possess a certain mystique. It's a pleasure to have you here. The feeling is not mutual. And I am not the one with whom you should be trying to curry favor, Marco. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. We'll keep our heads. For a bit. To settle accounts, Major Hall served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy, 
As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. That's right. Major Hull spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You were on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Hmm. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today. Someone or some thing will clean up whatever is left behind. Yep. Yeah, back here, we have turret control. Turrets are not working for me. Should have trained more. Bring it. Yeah, but I'm gonna do. Let's fight the fight, and then I will come back and loot. Because I'm going to loot everything on this ship. Interesting that there is no way to get through to the cockpit. 
unless it's really, really well hidden. Hopefully there is something of value here. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from here, I'm going to loop my way out, and I will just pause the recording, we'll continue when we get to the entrance of the ship. And zoop. We have looted the entire ship. So, of note, he did have some sentient AI adapters, which we are going to sell at the den. And he had quite a lot of wine, which we are going to hold on to. 50 Chandra Chardonnays, which we are going to mostly leave on board the ship, and we will pull from the ship's stock as we get low. I have no reason to carry more than a few bottles of wine on me at a time. You don't get that many persuade checks. So our next official stop is to hand over the encrypted slate to Alex. But I am going to make an unofficial stop at the den. In fact, there's no real need for us to record the process of selling things at the den. So what I'll do is I'll go to the den and I will sell the contraband and some stuff. And I'll go back to the lodge and I've got a whole bunch of just um, miscellaneous junk. So when we need to level up our commerce, we'll be ready to go there. And what I will do is I will unpause when we get back to Aquila and we'll be continuing the quest at that point. And we're picking up with turning in the encrypted slate to Alex. Aquila C is always up in. Made a decent profit off of Marco's Your ship. Ship's not half bad. And I think <laughs> did I remember to put my I didn't leave <sighs> I left my wine. The yeah, Jansen family immigrated here from the UC. I am going to have to remember to hop back and pick up my wine again. Nice Gonna be upset if I sold it. Hey, deputy! I left it the the Rangers work. I will have to find <laughs> my stash of wine. New deputy, huh? I specialize in cryptography. A lot of smugglers use coded slates, so it comes in handy. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then boom, down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because let me tell you, I am so close. Yep. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. <clears throat> Leaving a note to myself to find my wine. So next quest is first to fight, first to die. And we have a briefing for that. Come in, Deputy. Take a seat. This won't take long. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. 
It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? That doesn't exactly sound encouraging, Deputy. Maybe you don't appreciate the urgency of the situation. Innocent people have died. How can you be so critical when you have done nothing to help? This is Freestar Ranger business. I'll thank you to stay out of it. Let's move on. I asked the other Rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Exactly. Dealing with the Council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. Excuse me. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a Syndicate loan shark to help an informant. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Is that so? Well, I hope that's not just false bravado. There's nothing wrong with feeling fear. More often than not, it'll keep you alive. So what happened with Marco? <clears throat> I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. I suppose underestimating you was his last mistake. Damn. I thought if anyone could see reason, it'd be Marco. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. <clears throat> Sounds like we're done here. And I need to head back to the ship. I need to find where I left that bloody mine. 